Okay, here's another of my videos where I work through and explain A-level physics multi-choice questions. If you want to try to answer this question yourself, pause the video now. If you got the answer A, well done. Uh, if you want to hear my explanation, keep listening. So the diagram shows a square coil with its plane parallel to a uniform magnetic field. So we've got a square coil of wire and it's in the same plane as the paper. The coil always remains within the magnetic field. There's the magnetic field shown by those arrows. There are four possible changes to the position of the coil, moving it left, moving it towards Y, rotating it about Y, Y, and rotating it about Z. Uh, how many of these changes will result in an induced EMF in the coil while the change occurs? Well, we will get an EMF if the coil cuts through the magnetic field lines. So we always talk about an EMF being induced if the flux linkage changes within the coil. Another way of thinking about it is if the wire, if the coil cuts the lines. So first of all, if I move it towards the left, the left will not cut, it'll just cut a line, it'll just slide along a line. So that isn't going to induce an EMF. Moving it towards Y, moving it up the page there. No, it's not going to cut the lines, it's just going to slide through the lines. Rotating it about the Y, Y axis. If I rotate it about this Y, Y axis, it's sort of going to do a rotation like that. And yes, this left and this right uh, side of the coil will cut the line. So that will induce an EMF. Rotating it about the Z um, axis, the Z point there, well, that's just going to rotate the coil Again, it's going to stay in the plane of the paper. It's not going to cut any of those lines. So that's not going to produce an EMF. So only rotating it about the axis YY, or that's the only option we're given, is going to produce EMF. So the answer is A. Thank you very much for watching. Please subscribe. Please like. Please watch another one in the series.